every time she moves, touch her with the back of your arm. Just a little friendly gesture. And she's being pretty good now. To put her at ease while they collect the milk. We are at City Farm Austin in my backyard in Austin, Texas. Here people can buy a share of Paula Tarver's goats. City ordinance allows you to have goats in the city, four goats. So I said, I can do that. So we started with chickens and chickens gate definitely are the gateway to livestock. All she needed was a few partners to help take care of the animals. Just needed to find 14 crazy people to come and help me milk twice a day. Most shareholders come once a week and they take home a quart of milk. That costs them about $170 a year, but they could do a gallon if they wanted to. Many people do. The nation's goat herd is up 2% and producers say sales are up 15%. According to the U.S. Agriculture Department, sheep and goat milk brought in more than $92 million in 2012. <laughs> People like it because it's easier to digest. I got into it originally because I needed to supplement for my infants and the formula just had too many chemicals in it and I didn't want my babies having that. You do have to be careful though. The risk is bad bacteria that can make you sick. Regular tests and sanitizing the goat and the workspace before milking will prevent a bad batch. The bowl goes underneath on this side. Then they fill it up so these city folks can enjoy a little milk the old fashioned way, minus the cow of course. In South Austin, Jess Mitchell, Time Warner Cable News.